Are you feeling uncertain about selling your home? Do you wonder what needs to be done to get it sold, what you could sell it for, and how to get an acceptable offer? If that's the case, then Get Me Ready to Sell is the podcast just for you. Your host, Jeff Jones, is a realtor, coach, and entrepreneur, and he can help you gain the confidence you deserve to successfully sell your home. Here's Jeff. I want to give you all the information you need to make good decisions so that you're confident in your home selling ability. Whether you do it on your own or use a real estate agent. I'm a real estate agent. I'm a realtor. So of course, I would like you to use a realtor. But regardless, you need to be prepared to get your home sold. So let's take a look at this top 10 list. Number eight, disclose any potential issues. Almost every state in the United States has a seller disclosure law regarding property disclosures. If you're selling your home, you have to disclose what you know about the property. It's only right. I mean, if you're buying a property, don't you want to know how old the HVAC system is? If the roof had ever been replaced? Had there ever been a fire or a flood? You need to disclose all those things. There are certain things federally that you have to disclose. If it was built before 1978, you'd have to disclose that there's the potential for lead-based paint to be in the home. But be transparent about any issues you know with the property. I heard recently from a closing attorney that said an inspector found soot in a roof rafter up in the attic when he was inspecting the property. And uh, there wasn't anything else around but just some soot on some rafters. And the seller said, oh yeah, I forgot we had a kitchen fire about five years ago, but everything got replaced. Well, that killed the deal. Seller didn't disclose on the disclosure form at the very beginning, and the buyer wondered what else the seller might have forgotten about. Make sure you disclose so that a deal doesn't get derailed and you have to start all over again because you forgot something. Tell what you know about the house. Number nine, hire a real estate agent. Now, hold on a second. I know I'm a real estate agent. It's not just about helping me get paid, but you might want somebody to do all this stuff for you. An agent can help you prepare your property, price your property, and promote your property. They can handle the negotiations on your behalf. And a real estate agent is 100% on your side to get you a successful deal that closes and lets you move on with whatever reason you're selling your home. What you're moving next, if you're downsizing, if you're relocating, if it's not even your home, but you inherited it, you got it from an estate, you just need a new buyer in there. Hiring an agent, according to the National Association of Realtors, gets sellers more money than if they sell on their own. You can navigate all this headache on your own. There's no laws that forbid that, but you just might want somebody else taking care of that for you so that you don't have to. Explore your options about hiring a real estate agent. Number 10, be patient. Selling a home can take time. We came out of a market in 2021 and the early part of 2022 when pretty much before a home got on the market, there were 20 offers on it already. Uh, I'm being a little sarcastic there, but if a home went on the market on Thursday, chances are by Saturday morning, there were already 20 or 30 offers. Some of those offers could have been for 10, 20, 40, $50,000 over the asking price. And they also could have waived an inspection, waived an appraisal. We're not in that market anymore. We're in a little bit normal of a market, at least right now in 2023 in March. So it could take some time. Homes in my particular market in Northwest Mississippi are taking on average 60 something days on the market before they go under contract. Last year, 2021 and 2022, they were taking about 14 days on being on the market before they went under contract on average. Stay focused on the goal of finding a buyer who's going to make you an offer. Don't give up. Don't get impatient. If you're working with a real estate agent, let them do their job. Check out readytosellscore.com to discover how ready you might already be to get your home sold.